Hey Leo babies, paws up top. It's great to see you. This is the Phoenix Cloud and my name is Isa. If you've never met me before, hi, I'm a very proud Leo. Welcome to my place. Welcome to the Tarot Dome. We're going to get down today and uh, take a look at your love reading, Leo, for the week. Okay, um, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at them. Please feel free to reverse the roles. Take what resonates for you. Leave the stuff that doesn't. Um, if nothing resonates at all, check your other signs, your other placements, your moon rising and your Venus. Check out those readings or my older readings, okay? Um, the description box has all the stuff you need and want to know about me if you want to know stuff. Uh, like where you can find me on other social media platforms. And last but not least, guys, if it resonates for you and you enjoyed hanging out with your girl, please make sure you give me the thumbs up, smash the love button for me. That's what I call a love button. Definitely subscribe and come back, hang out with me. Give me some pause up top down below. I'm just throwing my energy out there. You know, even though it's Virgo season, it's still August. So for me as an August Leo, it's still Leo season. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just going to infringe. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to infringe on Virgo like that, right? Look, look, guys. I'm so happy. I got a new chair. Hey. Hey, Leo. I got a new chair. You have no idea, guys. I deserve this chair. The chair I've been sitting in is actually my, my chair from my... Uh, from my table, you know, in my dining room and this, oof, man, it's rugged on me. So I love this chair. I'm so excited about it. And, um, here we go. Let's jump in. Okay. Let's, <laughs> I know some of you are like, I'm just meeting you and like, you're too much. You know what? If I'm too much, it's okay. It's just how I'm built. All right. Overall energy, overall energy for Leo in whoever, whatever love connection they're making, please. For Leo, who's most on their mind, heart, and spirit? What's the overall energy for Leo, please? Ooh, seven of wands. This is some strong boundaries. Okay, some of you could be fighting for a connection here, but it feels more like it's uh, setting some strong boundaries with somebody, okay? So let's see how you feel about this person, Leo. All right, let's check out how Leo feels. How does Leo feel about their person? Okay, I'm going to take another card. All right, you're a little bit confused right now, okay? But I feel like you may be separated from this person because of your confusion or they've made you feel confused. There's something around figuring this out for some of you. Okay, Leo, I think some of you are just trying to figure it out. You could be separated and or divorced from this person, but I think you're trying to do the right thing. You're just trying to figure out what is the right thing for me, and that's why we've got this Seven of Wands boundaries energy, okay? How does this person that Leo is dealing with, how do they feel about Leo? Tell me how they feel about my lions and lionesses, the sexiest of all. Oh, okay, Leo, so... This person, you know, they feel at home with you, okay? Ten of Pentacles. They feel all brand new. You may, you make me feel, you make me feel, you make me feel like a natural woman. It just came out, okay? So you make them feel brand new, all right? Um, like, Aries energy here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We also have Libra. All right, so you're making this person feel all to make him feel some type of way. Uh, like they want to just take a leap of faith. They want to start a family with you. They see hopes and dreams and potential, um, not just in the connection with you, but they feel, I think, that with themselves. You inspire this person, okay? All right. All right, let's see how you see this person. How does Leo see this person? How does Leo see this person, please? Three of Pentacles, Six of Wands. You see this person, like you get along well with this person. You see this person as Somebody who recognizes you, um, you're seeing this person as, let me just say this really quick. I feel like some of you could be dating 
okay, Leo, you may not be in like a real connection with somebody. Does that make sense? I feel like some of you are dating and you're a little guarded. You're, you're kind of like trying to figure things out, okay? So I think there's a sense of you might have just separated with somebody or it could be the person you've been connected to. Somebody's wanting to get it with you, right? But and you see that this is this has the potential to work really well with this person. This person does like recognize and see you for who you really are, okay? And they are digging you. They're like, damn, you know, you see that about them too. Okay. You see somebody who's successful. You think of this person as um, a cooperative energy, like a person who you could have a successful um, future with, accomplish things with, right? Kind of like a power couple, right? All right. How, what do they, how do they see you? Okay. How do they see Leo, please? How do they see Leo? You're somebody who's made a decision to do things in your life. You're very ambitious. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy all over the place. Okay, I'm in my swinging chair. Ah, it just feels good to be able to move around. It's like a bucket chair too, so it's mad comfortable. Okay, they're, they're seeing you as somebody who is ambitious you know what you want you could be at a distance from this person okay um, and you have made up your mind you know the direction you're going you know what you want and the kind of people and things around you you communicate really well um, you're a passionate person you're adventurous there's a lot of fire in you obviously you're a fire sign okay so this person is very attracted to you they can see a lot of um, a lot of conversating they can easily speak to you okay yeah okay let's see what do you want what does Leo want what do you want I want rock and roll you never know what's gonna come out of me okay what does Leo want with this connection what does Leo want what do Leo be wanting what does Leo want what does Leo want King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Mm, okay, Leo. <laughs> You're like, hands up. I don't fucking know. I know I want to, I know I want a solid connection, but you know what? I'm just gonna be here doing my damn thing, right? I'm not gonna push anything. I want a commitment, but I my hands are off the wheel. I want whatever is destined for me, whatever I am meant for, and whoever is meant for me. That's where you're at, Leo. You want stability. You want security. You want to be able to trust somebody. Um, you want to be able to like have faith in that again with somebody. And, and also, you want the good fortune when it comes to a, a relationship at this time, okay? You, you want to win. Let's put it that way. You're tired of being the one who um, is watching everybody else eat. You know what I'm saying? Watching other people post them pregnancy pics for some of you or beyond the vacations or whatever. You want solid, stable, I can rely on this. And also, I'm not going to push nothing. I'm going to be a space and I'm going to let it come to me. Okay? And I love that energy. What does this person want? What does this person, this love interest, this past person, this whatever this is for you, what does this person want? Please show me what they want with Leo. Oh my God. Hey, Leo. Hey. <laughs> hey, Leo. I love it. What do you think they want? They want Leo's heart. They want reciprocated the same love that they know they are capable of giving to you, Leo. This person wants their soulmate. And I feel like this person is looking at you with a whole lot of potential because of that fool. Okay, they see the potential here. But Leo, I think you're being a little bit guarded. And like, dude, after all the readings we've been doing, guys, I see why you could potentially be guarded. Because some of y'all have had the, you know, shop a sham and scuzzy, what's another, scuzzy Sean. How about Scuzzy Sean? Yeah. 
slimy, s slimy, uh, slimy Sean. How about slimy Sean? Yeah, some of y'all. And then you had Loose Lucy. Okay. You had Smashly. Some of you guys had Smashly, right? Who was a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and all of her stuff. Okay. So <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Gemini. But seriously, like you guys have had some rotten shit come your way and you've been like, eh, bye. Bye. We're over that, right? So energetically, you guys have shifted a lot. And this has become more about your boundaries, taking your time with people and not pushing things, not rushing things. You want to see this. Okay. Like, like this looks good. The, the wands look really good, but no, Leo, you want to see, show me the money. And it's not about the money. You get it. It's about the trust, the stability, the foundation of something. Okay. You're no longer accepting, um, you know, body parts and less than bare minimums as real relationships. Okay. Cause you've shifted. All right. What else does this person want? Because they be wanting a soulmate connection. They don't want to hurt anymore. Okay. They don't want to feel betrayed by anybody. What they want is if this is somebody you're reconnecting with, they want to put the past behind because they know that this is a soulmate connection for them. This is the it. Okay. If this is a new person for some of you, this person, they don't want to hurt again. They don't want to hurt anybody. They don't want to be hurt. They want to put what all the bullshit behind them and they want to be with their person. This person is a person about trying to do their work right now. I can almost 100% guarantee you. Okay. Let's see. What are their next moves toward you? What are their next moves toward Leo, please? What's this person's next moves? Oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look. Leo. They want it. They're like, oh my God, it's Leo. Leo is it. Hold on, guys. I have like, you know, every time I do readings, the entire planet Earth just starts texting me or like all my notifications go off at once. I don't know what it is energetically I'm like speak to me I get hey that's weird though because I, I do channel so I wonder if that's a thing okay so they want if this is an old person who you've been talking to this person wants to reconnect they want to rekindle something okay they want a second chance if it's not this is somebody who wants to truly pour into your cup and have you pour into theirs they want a new love they want true love this person is looking for true love and their soulmate in you and they think you have the potential for this they want to they want to try it what else what else are their next moves they're going to offer their love cup to you okay what else are their next moves for leo oh <laughs> leo this could be the one I'm serious. Leo, please make sure that you're giving this person a chance, okay? If you know the person I'm talking about and you've been like, I don't know, there's a possibility, like I'm a little nervous, give this person a chance, okay, Leo? You might feel that they're part of your destiny. You might feel that they're a part of your destiny. There's a reason you met this person, okay? Maybe some of you haven't figured it out yet because you're a little bit guarded, but I think you're going to. Okay. What do you need to know about this person? Let's see. What does Leo need to know that maybe they don't know right now? What do you need to know, Leo, about this person? What do you need to know? Oh, they have a lot more feelings than they're talking about. Okay. <laughs> they have a lot more feelings than they're talking about. There's something this person feels about you. What else? Yep. They're hiding it. They're hiding the way they feel. They're hiding this from you, Leo. They're hiding how they truly feel about you, okay? They've been watching you. They know more about you than they let on. You know, I think this person, when you talk, they're really listening. They're paying attention, okay? And they really see the potential for this, okay? So their next moves are to make the offer. Dude, I am like, wow, guys. Okay, all right. 
So let's see, Leo, why are you feeling justice and the Seven of Cups over this? Why is Leo feeling the justice and Seven of Cups? Okay, because Leo, yeah, you ended something with this person or somebody else. And you started taking back your power or putting things together here. Again, King of Wands, okay? You started getting back on a sharp, sharp, you know, belly on flat, flat, like that type of vibe, right? So you're just like, okay. I'm in power mode. Once once a Leo goes back into I fucking love myself power mode and I'm doing, you're like winning right now. Your business is doing good. Things are going good for you, okay? You, you're, you've been eliminating shit that's unnecessary in your life. So now you're like, oh shit, I know this game universe. I start doing good and then you send me the shits. And then you said, you, you're trying to see if I'm with the shits still. Yes, I'm with the shits. Telling you. Universe trying to throw you off and you're like, not this time. Not this time. I've got it together. Okay. Scorpio Libra energy. You got your life back in balance. You've been through a big transformation. You're still going th through it. You're in the transformation of no longer you know, uh, giving people 10,000 chances or, you know, here's the, the Leo red carpet of, you know, use me up and spit me out. Go on, walk right across. No, no, baby. No. Mm -mm. 2022 taught us next level of ferocity. Meow. Okay. Why the seven of cups? You have a lot of choices. Oh, baby. You are already feeling good on your own. Shit. Shit. As if. Cat Williams would say. What else is this Seven of Cups? Yeah, you you know, you have had to leave a lot of stuff behind. You have you have sadness for many of you when you look back on the past Five of Cups, okay? But you you have been in the past, you've been slighted. You've had people take advantage of you, hurt you, and kind of leave you with the empty cups. Like, you grieve while people have left you and moved on happily, right? So now you're kind of in the mode, like, I'm not going to allow that to happen to me. I have a lot of choices. How you feel about this person is there is this opportunity, like... You see a lot of things, a lot of emotional potential here. This person has a lot of these cups that look really, really good. However, some of you are like, yeah, and I've been there before. And when I focused on how good I thought it was or putting on the rose-colored glasses, I got the pain, okay? So you're like, um, I'm not with that pain, all right? No. I want to see really quick why they feel uh, the, well, they feel good about you. Why do they see the Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands? Why does this person see Two of Wands, Eight of Wands, Four of Cups, and why do they see Eight of Wands? Okay, you're somebody who's still healing to this person. Um, and they see that before they may have missed an opportunity with you, but they don't want to do that again, whoever this is. Whether it's somebody who's been kind of watching you from afar that's trying to connect with you now, could be a secret admirer even, or somebody you're talking to. Or if this is a person from your past that wants to make this better because you see, I see a new love or I see a new opportunity at love with somebody you've already been connected to, okay? Um, they, it's like they want to offer you and they know to some degree... They've seen you as a forgiving person, but they also see you as somebody who loves yourself enough to walk away from a situation, right? And that kind of makes them feel a little bit insecure because when you do that to people, it forces them to have to look at themselves and what they do, okay? Now, what they want, two of cups. Why do they want two of cups? Yeah, you make them feel happy. They have been looking to manifest this they have three of cups here with the magician, okay? So this person has been, for some of you, this is a person who wants a reunion. They want a second chance. For others of you, this is somebody who, what they want is happiness. What they want to feel with you is not just that soulmate ship. They want to feel the magic of who Leo is, okay? 
They want to feel the full magic. They want to feel like Leo is my best friend. We have this, this incredible love together. We, um, we can mesh our two lives. Um, they, anything is possible with Leo. They want to feel like anything is possible with you. Why, why, um, why do they want Ten of Swords? I almost forgot what the heck my question was. Why does this person want Ten of Swords with Leo? Oh my God. Yeah, because Ten of Swords, you both have been hurt. Listen, this person is seeing you as a soulmate, a twin flame, okay? They want this. You both have been through this. You both have been through this. They're still releasing the shit that's happened to them too. They're releasing their own toxic energy, their own overthinking, all the shit, okay? This is both of you. And this is both of you. You want the same thing and they know that. They know that innately, deep down, you want the same thing. And you all, this person wants to cut off the that negative way of thinking that they just see so much amazing possibility with you in the future you make this person have hope you know again leo and faith in the fact that love is real that it's there's a real possibility for love now i want to see what you want why does um clarify this king of pentacles is what leo wants i am going a little long for you guys but i don't care Yeah, you've had a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands, okay? You want passion. You want a new start. You want passion and stability. And I don't I don't disagree with you. You should get big wood. You should have big wood, okay? Big, big, big wood. And, and you should have stability. You should have fun. You want to travel. You want to go places. You want to do things, okay? You want a new possibility. What else? And you want your destined partner. Yeah. You want to, you want calm. You want to, do you want a peaceful relationship? You could be at a distance from this person too, but you want everything in your life to be easy. You want the connection to be exciting and fun and stable and responsible at the same time. And you want ease. Okay. You don't want to have to bust your ass to work at, at something that's not working. Right. Like it's the wrong fit and you're trying to put a square peg into a round hole. Why else does Leo want the Wheel of Fortune? Yep, temperance. Listen, you want the person you're being guided to. The person that the universe has created for you. And you're willing to wait for that, okay? You want somebody that you can sit down with and that is going to work things out. Heal the connection, right? What else? You want somebody healed too, okay? You definitely want somebody healed. You also want a person who is not stuck in this place of where they are damaged, where their heart hasn't healed, where they don't do their work, okay? I'm telling you right now, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Libra, an Aries, um, Gemini, uh Scorpio Virgo okay what you want is to not be hurt again by somebody you don't want somebody trampling your heart you don't want hey some of y'all don't want nobody bringing that yuck yuck okie dokie don't bring no yuck yuck around here okay you take your yuck yuck and go wash it off real good alrighty all right So this is beautiful, guys. Um, and like what you need to know is this person secretly has a lot of feelings they have not expressed to you or they haven't told you yet. This person definitely, their next moves are to make an offer of love to you, okay? Let's see here. Uh -huh. Yep, they want to take you on a vacation, an adventure, an escapade. Let me take you on an escapade. Hey, escapade. We'll have a good time. Maybe who knows that song? Leave your worries behind. Okay. Blood ties, inner circle. They want a family with you. Okay. They want to have a family. And history. The past happened. Now look at that. Y'all might have had some 
ancient Egyptian life, but I feel like some of you, this is a past life connection with this person. I'm going to get one more card. One more card. Usually I don't shuffle like I just learned how, but these, <laughs> these cards are like, yeah, these cards are like, um, they're very slippery. Okay. Lockbox closed in trapped, frustrated. So I feel like this kind of came out sideways. So I feel like maybe this person feels like they can't get to you. Maybe you're a little bit closed off. So this has this person a little frustrated and concerned about how they, how they are going to open up this connection. Okay. This person really needs to tell you this, Leo. Like they really, they really, really want to come forward and, and like give you this. Okay. What else? Anything else we need to know, please, whether it's good or bad. All right. There's a lot of cards here, guys. Okay. A lot of cards. Wine and dine. Date. Meaningful. Consistent. Okay. That's what you want. And that's what this person wants to do with you. Maybe they're already doing that. And I, oop, surprised, mixed emotions, humiliation. I feel like this person's surprised about how they feel about you. Um, you have mixed emotions only because of the past stuff that you've been dealing with. We have pronto, urgency. They want this shit to move fast. Fast. If it's not them, it's you. Because I know Leos are impatient. <laughs> All right. In sync. Angel numbers, synchronicities, nature signs. You probably both are seeing... A lot of synchronicities between the two of you. Ow! Somebody could get pregnant or be pregnant in this connection. Okay, y'all about to give birth to something. All right, and then we have the major key. <laughs> All right, number one priority. Somebody making you the priority, wanting houses and things with you. Um, making you important, Leo. That's something that's important for us, okay? Because I feel like almost every Leo's love language is make me your first. <laughs> Fucking playing. All right, make, make me your first, god dang it. <laughs> I'm the only one. If I pee on this tree, it's mine. I tell people that all the time. And then they laugh, and I'm like, but you think that's not real? Do you want to know how real that is? Don't make me show you. All right. So um, I do see somebody here, guys, that really wants to make you their priority. They want to put you first. They want a babies. They want a life with you. They want that. Whether this is a new person or not, there is somebody who is hot on your tail. Okay. And like, you need to know this. Somebody is really, really um, falling for you. And this is a really beautiful connection, guys. Okay. So that's what I got for you, my loves. Thank you so much for being here. If this did resonate for you, you know what to do. Make sure you smash the love button. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me what's up. Say hi to me. I love you guys so much, my beautiful, lovely Leos. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and come back and check me on the next one. See you later. Bye.